Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to build Get Employee REST API. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and let us first change the service layer and then we will change the controller layer because the controller layer depends on service layer. So let's go to Employee Service Interface over here. Within this interface, let us define the Get Employee by ID method. So here, let us give Employee DTO as a return type of the method and let us give method name as Get Employee by ID and let us pass employee ID as a parameter to this method. Perfect. Now we have defined get employee by ID method in a employee service interface. Next let us implement this method in employee service IMPL class. So let us go to employee service IMPL class over here and just move forward on this class and here we have implement methods link. So go ahead and click on this link over here and then select the method that we want to implement. Next click on OK. Perfect. So here we can implement the get employee by ID method. Well, before implementing this method, let's go ahead and let's first create one custom exception. Well, whenever a employee with a given ID is not exist in database, then we have to throw the custom exception, isn't it? So let us go ahead and let us first create the custom exception. So go to exception package, right click, new and choose Java class. Let us give exception name as resource not found exception perfect next let us extend this class from runtime exception and then let us create a parameters constructor public resource not found exception and then let us pass message as a parameter all right and here let us call super keyword to pass this message to the super class constructor next let us annotate this class with at response status annotation and let us specify the http status so here, let us give HTTP status not found. Well, if employee with a given ID is not exist in database, then we will throw this resource not found exception and then Spring Boot will catch this exception and it will get the error message from the exception and it will send the error message along with the HTTP status to the client. Next, let us go back to employee service IMPL class over here. Next, let us implement this get employee ID method. So here, let me maximize this. So within a get employee by id method, let us call employee repository. It has find by id method and notice here find by id method returns optional of type employee. So let us call find by id method over here and just pass employee id. Next optional has or else throw method. So here let us call or else throw method over here and notice here or else throw method returns a employee object and or else throw method takes supplier as a functional interface. And we have to pass the lambda expression implementation of this supplier functional interface. So let us call this or else throw method over here and let us create the lambda expression. So here lambda symbol and then new resource not found exception and let us pass the message employee is not exists with a given id. All right. And let us pass the ID dynamically over here. That is employee ID. Perfect. Next, let me maximize this a bit. Next, you can see the type over here exists. So let me correct it. Employee is not exist with a given ID. And then employee ID. Next, let me also break this statement. Perfect. So this or else throw method returns an employee object. So here, let us take the result of this or else throw method in a local variable of type employee perfect next if you can notice here get employee by ID method returns the employee DTO so let us convert this employee GP entity into employee DTO so go to return statement remove this null and let's call employee map over here it has a map to employee DTO method and then pass employee GP entity object perfect now we have implemented get employee by ID method in a employee service IMPL class Next, let us create the REST API that will internally call this get employee by ID method. So here, let me minimize this and go to employee controller over here. And within employee controller, let us build get employee by ID REST API. So here, let me write the comment build get employee REST API. Well, creating a REST API using Spring Boot is very simple. We just need to create a method and then we will convert that method into REST API by using Spring annotations. So here let us first create a method public and then response entity as a return type 
response entity is a generic so let us pass employee detail as a type and next let us give method name as get employee by id next let us pass employee id as a parameter to this method within this get employee by id method let us call employee service it has get employee by id method and then pass employee id perfect so this get employee by id method returns employee dto so here let us take the result of this method in a, a local variable of type employee dto perfect next let us have a return statement return response entity it has a ok method and next let us pass employee dto as a parameter to this method perfect now we have created get employee by id method next let us make this method as a rest api by using spring annotations so here let us annotate this method with add get mapping annotation well we use add get mapping annotation to map the incoming http get request to this method next let us pass the id well this id is basically called a uri template variable next we need to bind the value of this uri template variable to this method argument so in order to do that we have to use add path variable annotation so here let us use add path variable annotation and we need to also pass the uri template variable name here that is id so notice here the uri template variable name is id and the method argument name is employee id so both the variable names are different that's why we have to pass the uri template variable name to the path variable annotation then only the path variable annotation will bind the value of this uri template variable to this method argument okay perfect now we have created get employee rest api next let us rerun our spring boot application and let us test this rest api using postman client so from here i want to stop and rerun the spring boot application well notice here our spring boot application is up and running in embedded tomcat server on port 8080 next let us go to postman client over here and let us create a new request and here let us choose http get method and let us enter the request url http localhost 8080 slash api slash employees and then slash one well if you go to mysql workbench over here and if you go to ems database and employees table you can see here we have ramesh employee and ramesh employee has id one so in order to retrieve this you know ramesh employee we have to pass the id one in the url okay so let us go back to postman client and here we have passed employee id one okay next click on send button and there we go you can see the response the rest api return the response and the response contains the employee object in a json format and the status 200 okay it means we have successfully built get employee rest api in next lecture we are going to build get all employees rest api all right great i will see you in the next lecture